Hi friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Rain. Today's video is the continuation of yesterday's question paper discussion. Let's see. First one, the vitamin which is absent in chicken egg. The vitamin which is absent in chicken egg. The options are vitamin C, vitamin B12, vitamin A and vitamin E. The vitamin which is absent in chicken egg. The answer is vitamin C. Vitamin C is absent in chicken egg. The remaining vitamins that is vitamin B12 that is cobalbumin. Then uh, vitamin A, retinol and vitamin E, tocopherol is present in chicken egg. Rather than that selenium then vitamin B5 then vitamin B2 is also present in chicken egg and it is also rich in calcium, iron, potassium, zinc and manganese. And these are the nutrient constitution of a chicken egg. So the vitamin which is absent in chicken egg is vitamin C. Next question. The bacterium known as terror of the deep. Due to the seafood poisoning, it causes with the highest fatality rate of any foodborne bacterium. The options are Salmonella, Entridis, Vibrio pulnificus, Vibrio parahemolyticus, and Clostridium botulinum. The bacterium known as Terror of the Deep. Due to the seafood poisoning, it causes with the highest fatality rate of any foodborne bacterium. The answer is Vibrio fulnificus. The bacterium Vibrio fulnificus is known as the terror of the deep. Why that bacteria is known as the terror of the deep? Because it has a highest fatality rate due to seafood poisoning uh, comparing to any other foodborne bacterium. So Vibrio fulnificus is known as the terror of the deep. And this bacteria will be prominent in the summer when the water is warm. The warm water is a favorable condition for the bacterium Vibrio fulnificus which is known as the terror of the deep. And next question. The stunning method recommended for slaughter of adult cattle. The stunning method recommended for slaughter of adult cattle. The options are electric stunning, penetrative captive bolt pistol, then option C carbon dioxide gas stunning and all the all of the above. The options are electric stunning, penetrative captive bolt pistol, carbon dioxide gas stunning and all of the above. The stunning method recommended for slaughter of adult cattle is penetrative captive bolt pistol the method penetrative captive bolt pistol is used for or recommended for slaughter of adult cattle electric stunning can be uh, used for the slaughter of pigs sheep or goats poultry and ostriches but if we use in case of adult cattle, sometimes it results in excessive hemorrhage in the muscles or spinal fractures. So the most preferred or recommended method for adult cattle slaughtering is penetrative captive bolt pistol. Next question. The dressing percentage of pigs is approximately? The dressing percentage for pigs is approximately. The options are 53 percentage, 65 percentage, 75 percentage and 88 percentage. The dressing percentage for pig is 75 percentage. 75 percentage. What is the dressing percentage? Actually, the dressing percentage is calculated by dividing the warm carcass weight by the shrunk live weight of the animal. Warm carcass weight by the divided by the shrunk live weight of the 
a live weight of the animal is and is expressed in percentage this is known as dressing percentage and it will be different for different animals and for pigs it is approximately 75 percentage and for beef cattle the dressing percentage is approximately 58 to 70 62 percentage for cattle it is 58 to 62 percentage and for a uh, lamb it is 54 percentage and for poultry it is 71 percentage here the dressing percentage for pig is approximately 75 percentage next question dash is used for testing the effectiveness of bleeding of carcass Dash is used for the testing the effectiveness of bleeding of carcass. Options are sodium nitrate, malachite green, sodium ascorbate and all of the above. Dash is used for the testing the effectiveness of bleeding of carcass. The answer is malachite green. The common malachite green is used for testing the effectiveness of bleeding of carcass. Next question. The larval nematode worm seen in striated muscle of pigs infecting human beings after injection of such infected porkies the larval nematode worm seen in striated muscle of pigs infecting human beings after ingestion of such infected porkies the options are trichinella spira spiralis toxoplasma gondii ticuris ticuria and tinea solium the larval nematode worm seen in striated muscle of pigs infecting human beings after ingestion of such infected pork is Trichinella spiralis. Trichinella spiralis is the nematode worm which is seen in the striated muscle of pigs and if we consume the infected pork it results in a disease called trichinosis. The disease called trichinosis and it is caused by trichinella spiralis. And this trichinella spiralis is otherwise known as pork worm because it is being typically encountered in undercooked pork products. Since it is seen in pork, undercooked pork, the trichinella spiralis is also known as pork worm. Next question. Pick out the wrong statement. Options. The first transgenic cow, Rosie, produced human protein enriched milk. Option B. Green rot in eggs is mainly caused by pseudomonas fluorescence. Option C. Bloom is the term used for preservation of meat using salt. And option D. Pork and poultry meat are the more susceptible to rancidity as they are rich in unsaturated fatty acids other than other meats. So the wrong statement in this section is option C. Bloom is the term used for preservation of meat using salt. And which is the term used for preservation of meat using salt? It's, it is salting. Salting is the term used for preservation of meat using salt. And uh, first transgenic cow, Rosie, produced human protein enriched milk. It's true. That is in 1997. First transgenic cow named Rosie uh, produced uh, milk which is enriched in alpha lactalbumin gene. Uh, the, and this, the milk of this transgenic cow contained about 2.5, 2.4 grams of human protein per liter of the milk. And the next statement is that green rot in eggs is mainly caused by pseudomonas fluorescence. It is also right. Green rot in egg is widely recognized as one of the principal causes of loss in the preservation of eggshell. Why is it so?
that is the shell contents the invention of the shell contents by strains of this pseudomonas fluorescens which multiply in the albumin and elaborate the characteristic of green pigment it affect the or invade the shell of the egg and it in enters the albumin there it multiply and it will uh, infuse the green color pigment around the egg so green rot in egg is mainly caused by pseudomonas fluorescence and the last statement is that pork and poultry meat are more susceptible to rancidity as they are rich in unsaturated fatty acids than other meats it's also true why is it so pork and poultry uh, they are rich in unsaturated fatty acids so they are susceptible to rancidity why so because unsaturated fats are more susceptible to oxidation than other saturated fats because the polyunsaturated fat uh, has more unstable bonds which will allow the oxygen to react at these unstable points so they will get rancid more faster than the uh, saturated uh, fat containing meats next question is the energy yield per unit weight of food is known as the options are calorific value energy density both a and b and b none of this energy yield per unit weight of food is known as energy density that is the amount of energy a food contains per gram is known as energy density the amount of energy a food contains per gram of that food is known as the energy density and what is the calorific value calorie calorie is a unit of energy and calories refers to the energy people get from the food and drink they consume and the energy they use in physical activity and this is calorie and energy density is the amount of energy a food contains per gram is known as the energy density uh, the fats are more energy denser than the proteins or carbohydrates and next question rq of fats is less than carbohydrates because it is rq rq is respiratory quotient respiratory quotient of fats is less than carbohydrates because the options are fats have lesser oxygen content carbohydrates have lesser oxygen content fats have higher oxygen content and none of this the answer is fats have lesser oxygen content the respiratory quotient is the ratio of volume of carbon dioxide released to the volume of oxygen taken in respiration and this respiratory quotient acts as an indicator of which fuel is being metabolized in a particular tissue to supply the body with energy the carbohydrates have equal number of carbon and oxygen in their molecules when fats are used as substrate in respiration the respiratory quotient is less than 1 because the amount of oxygen utilized is always higher than the amount of carbon dioxide released and next question is specific dynamic action refers to specific dynamic action refers to the options are energy required for physical activity increased heat production following intake of food extra energy for exercising energy requirement by a person for dynamic activities specific dynamic action refers to the answer is increased heat production following intake of food the thermic effect of food is also called as the specific dynamic action that is specific dynamic action is also known as a thermic effect of food and it is related to the increased heat production which follows injection so sda or the specific dynamic action is also known as the thermic effect of food or dietary induced thermogenesis 
which simply means the amount of energy expenditure above the metabolic rate due to the cost of processing food for use and storage of food. Thus, this specific dynamic action refers to the increased heat production following the intake of food. It is also known as thermic effect of food. Next question. Dash is an essential amino acid. The options are aspartic acid, glutamic acid, proline and threonine. Dash is an essential amino acid. Here the answer is threonine. Threonine is an essential amino acid. What are essential amino acids? The essential amino acids are uh, acids, amino acids which are needed by humans but they, it cannot be synthesized in the body. As a result, we should intake this essential amino acid through food. And there are nine essential amino acids which are histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, trionine, tryptophan and valine. The nine essential amino acids are histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, trionine, tryptophan and valine. Next question. Which of the following has the lowest iodine number? Which of the following has the lowest iodine number? The options are soya bean oil, cotton seed oil, beef fat and corn oil. Which of the following has the lowest iodine number? What is this iodine number or iodine value? It is the iodine absorption value or iodine index which means the mass of iodine in grams that is consumed by 100 grams of a chemical substance. That is the mass of iodine consumed by 100 gram of a substance. That value is known as the iodine number or iodine index or iodine value. And why is this iodine number essential? Because it is used to determine the amount of unsaturation in fatty acids. The iodine number gives us the idea of uh, amount of unsaturation in fatty acids. So, the higher the iodine number, the more carbon, 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 double bond carbon is present. Or the unsaturation will be higher. Here, soya bean oil, cotton seed oil and corn oil, they have a more unsaturated fat. But we know that beef fat is containing more saturated fat. So, uh, the answer will be beef fat. That is, uh, if uh, saturation is higher means ID number will be less. So, uh, the, here the following which has the lowest ID number is option C, beef fat. Next question, scurvy can be cured by the administration of the options are folic acid, glutamic acid, fumaric acid and ascorbic acid. Scurvy can be cured by the administration of the answer is ascorbic acid. We know that scurvy is a deficiency disease due to the deficiency of vitamin C. So, ascorbic acid is nothing but vitamin C. So, scurvy can be cured by the administration of ascorbic acid or vitamin C. Next question. Dietary fiber represents the following nutrient group. Dietary fiber represents which of the following nutrient group? The options are lipids, carbohydrates, proteins and none of this. Dietary fiber it comes under the nutrient group of carbohydrates or dietary fiber is a type of carbohydrate uh, which can be digested by our body enzymes and it is found in most edible foods such as uh, cereals, fruits, vegetables, dried peas, nuts, lentils and grains etc. Di dietary fiber is a type of carbohydrate and it is uh, present in um, cereals, fruits, vegetables, nuts, 
then lentils, grains, etc. Next question, which one, the one which is not used as a clarifier? The one which is not used as a clarifier. The options are phosphoric acid, lead nitrate, phosphotactic acid and lead acetate. The answer is phosphoric acid. Next question. Ionization technique not used in mass spectrometry. Uh, options are fast atom bombardment, field desorption and laser desorption uh, and radiation. Ionization technique not used in mass spectrometry. The answer is radiation. The other techniques such as a fast atom bombardment, field desorption and laser desorption are used in mass spectrometry. So radiation is not an ionization technique used in mass spectrometry. Next question. In homogeneity of flow velocities and path lengths around packing particles in column chromatography leads to in homogeneity of flow velocities and path lengths around packing material packing particles in column chromatography leads to option a partition option b retention option c a d diffusion and none of this the answer is a d diffusion a d diffusion an eddy diffusion is a term used to describe variation in mobile phase flow or analytic flow path within the chromographic column. If there is some variation in the flow of mobile phase or uh, is some variation in mobile phase flow or analyte uh, flow path and this is known as eddy diffusion. So, the homogene in homogeneity of flow velocities and path lengths around packing particles in uh, column chromatography leads to a D diffusion. Next question. The protective agent used in cryopreservation of bacterial cells. The protective agent used in cryopreservation of bacterial cells. The options are EDTA. DMSO, SDS and NADP. The protective agent used in cryopreservation of bacterial cell is DMSO. Is DMSO. What is DMSO? This is dimethyl sulfoxide. And cry what is cryopreservation? Cryopreservation is a process that preserves organelles, cells, tissues or any other biological constructs by cooling the sample to a very low temperature. And usually the cryopreservation temperature is minus 196 degrees Celsius. And the agent which is used for protection is DMSO. Next question. Staining of specimens using uranyl acetate has been used in Staining of specimens using uranyl acetate has been used in atomic force microscope, confocal scanning laser microscope, transmission electron microscope and phase contrast microscope. The answer is transmission electron microscope. Uranyl acetate it is a stain. It's a negative stain which is used in electron microscopy. And this is a stain which is simple and quick to perform. And we can easily examine the sample uh, in a, within a few minutes after staining. And this stain is used in elect transmission electron microscope. Next question. Which of the following is a type of food intoxication? Which of the following is a type of food intoxication? Options are botulism, salmonellosis, cholera, gastroenteritis. Which of the following is a type of food intoxication? The answer is botulism. Answer is botulism. What is this food intoxication? Food intoxication is caused by ingesting food containing toxins formed by bacteria which resulted from the bacterial growth in the food item. And this phenomenon is known as food intoxication. 
and there is another similar term that is food infection food borne infection what is that and that is caused by the ingestion of food containing live bacteria which grow and establish themselves in the human intestinal tract and thereby causing uh, ill effects to human that is known as food borne infection and here we, is, uh, we are talking about food intoxication and the answer is botulism next question Ashbaya gossipi is used commercially for the production of Ashbaya gossipi is used commercially for the production of option uh, L glutamic acid invertase cyanocobalamin and riboflavin Ashbaya gossipi is used commercially for the production of riboflavin this asbia gossipi it's a natural over producer of riboflavin riboflavin is nothing but vitamin b2 and nowadays this asbia gossipi is used in industrial scale production of this riboflavin next question enrichment of lakes due to high concentration of organic nutrients Enrichment of lakes due to high concentration of organic nutrients is known as options are humus formation, biomagnification, eutrophication and nit nitrosification. The answer is eutrophication. Eutrophication is the excessive richness of nutrients in a lake or other body of water frequently due to the runoff from the land which is rich in or which uh, rich in nutrients and this causes a dense growth of plant life and this phenomenon is known as eutrophication next question in the sanitizer commonly used for treatment of drinking water the sanitizer commonly used for treatment of drinking water the options are sodium nitrate sodium hypochlorite sodium sorbate and sodium meta bisulfite the sanitizer commonly used for the treatment of drinking water is sodium hypochlorite or NaOCl. Sodium hypochlorite. It is used for water purification and it is used for the large scale surface purification, bleaching, odor removal or water disinfection. Uh, next question. Which of the following is the semi perishable food which of the following is a semi perishable food options are fish egg milk and potato and here the semi perishable food is potato that is a perishable foods are generally sold fresh Example, uh, fruits, vegetables, starry products, that is which cannot be stored for a long time. Semi-perishable foods, which should be fresh items and do not require any refrigerating and eventually spo get spoiled. And non-perishable items are uh, canned foods, dry items like uh, rice, pasta, etc. Here the semi-perishable food is potato. The stored other needs refrigeration. Next question. Temperature used in HDST pasteurization is? Uh, temperature used in HDST pasteurization. What is HDST? It is high temperature short time pasteurization. High temperature short time pasteurization. The options are 161 degree Fahrenheit, 145 degree Fahrenheit, 154 degree Fahrenheit or 175 degree Fahrenheit. For high temperature short time pasteurization the temperature used is 161 degree Fahrenheit and the time is 15 seconds. 161 degree Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. Next question. Which of the following is not involved in the fermentation of sauerkraut? Which of the following is not involved in the fermentation of sauerkraut? The options are leuconostat mesenteroids, lactobacillus planetarium, 
then leuconost of delbrucki and streptococcus faecalis which of the following is not involved in the fermentation of sauerkraut what is this sauerkraut sauerkraut is probably the most well known lacto fermented vegetable it is nothing but the lacto fermented vegetable it's simply the pickling of vegetable using the lacto microorganisms and it is made by a process of pick pickling called lactic acid fermentation lactic acid fermentation and then major microorganisms are for responsible for this is uh, mainly four species of lactic acid bacteria and example leuconostoc mesenteroids lactobacillus plantarum lactobacillus brevis pedicoccus pendosus lactobacillus plantarum etc and here so the answer will be streptococcus faecalis streptococcus faecalis will cause infection to human and it is a pathogen while other three are comes under lactic acid bacteria and so lactic acid bacteria is used for the uh, sauerkraut preparation the answer is uh, streptococcus faecalis which is not involved in the fermentation of sauerkraut next question the enzyme used for the clarification of fruit juice enzyme used for the clarification of fruit juice options are invertase pectinase protease and lipase enzyme used for the clarification of fruit juice is pectinase next question tapping and aroma are maturity indices of tapping and aroma are maturity indices of jackfruit watermelon tomato mango answer is jackfruit tapping and aroma are maturity indices of jackfruit it is uh, used to identify mature jackfruit tapping and aroma next question evaporative cooling system saturated with water is used in onion storage zero energy cool chamber cool stores and radiation evaporative cooling system saturated with water is used in zero energy cool chamber next question w and o emulsions are used in W and O emulsions are used in options are storage of what fruits and vegetables, field spray of fruits and vegetables, waxing of fruit and vegetables, and none of the above. W and O emulsion. What is this W and O emulsion? It is the water droplets suspended in a continuous oil space. in the oil phase the water suspended in continuous oil phase it is w and o emulsion and the reverse that is o and w emulsion is oil droplet suspended in aqueous phase here the uh, water droplet suspended in oil phase so the answer is waxing of fruits and vegetables W and O emulsions are used in that is water and oil emulsions are used in waxing of fruits and vegetables. Next question: the most destructive of all field rats is the most destructive of all field rat is options are mus, uh, budunga, ratus ratus, ratus norvegicus, bandicota bengalensis. The answer is. bandicota bengalensis the most de destructive field rat is bandicota bengalensis next question aflatoxin is the mycotoxin produced by aflatoxin is the mycotoxin produced by the options are aspergillus flavus fusarium species claviceps purpura aspergillus clavatus the answer is aspergillus flavus aflatoxin produced by um, aflatoxin is produced by aspergillus flavus 
what is this um, mycotoxin mycotoxins are secondary metabolites which is uh, produced by uh, some fungus kingdom and uh, Aflatoxin is a type of mycotoxin produced by the fungi, mainly the aspergillus group. Aspergillus flavors mainly produce the aflatoxin. That's all. Thank you for listening to this video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe our channel, press the bell button for getting notifications, share this video with your friends and leave your valuable comments.